guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here in our living room, yes. getting ready to start something real. So if you guys remember, we were in this room a long time ago. This is one of the first projects where Greg refinished the floors and this we did the black accent wall. And that is going to go bye bye and we're starting something brand new. So thanks, tell them. So we're going to be installing the Infinity Touchstone Fireplace. Thank you. Uh, Touchstone Home Products for sending us and gifting us with this. Yes. It's a three-sided electric fireplace. We're going to remove the radiator, put the radiator to a different area in the room, remove the window, and build our awesome wall unit that's going to house this amazing electric fireplace and TV unit. Okay, okay. All right, all right. We are also planning on putting some shelves and some storage stuff over here, but First things first, let's focus on this because this is where the main event is about to happen. It's going to be a home run. <laughs> you better keep watching. Keep watching, baby. Keep watching. All right, guys. So first things first, I am going to remove this window. So I'm not going to remove the whole entire casing because the enclosure is going to slip right over this. We're going to keep all this frame. Instead, I'm just going to take off the window. the caps that are within each window, which I'm going to find screws, that's what's holding the window in. And there you go. After we get our radiator out, our, ra our fireplace is going to start approximately 26 inches from the floor and I want a really nice view of the fireplace with people sitting down. Uh, the fireplace, uh, after looking at the manual, the specifications of the manufacturer, 8 inches is more than sufficient to uh, have, the f have the TV above the fireplace. Alright, with all that said, I got everything marked out, let's get started. I know my wife is going to laugh when she sees this, but once again, I forgot to plug it in. So I know my top half is going to be upright just like this against the wall. 
So, and it's also gonna have a stop at the very, very end. So I'm just gonna lay this down because the measurement still stays the same. So it's... Is that so then you can put this to connect it to the studs? Well, it, I don't know exactly how my heater, the end of my heater is eight inches. They say the, the, the manufacturer is eight inches, mm -hmm. well, seven, seven, eight, so I say eight inches. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come right up against that stop right there. Oh, okay. So I know exactly where this is at. See, I, I can adjust it however long I want it here. See this right here? Oh yeah. See like that? The two by fours? Yeah. So I line it up once I get my eight inches. Perfect. Make that line. Drill it in. So do the same thing for the other side. I cut my top half here. I'm gonna screw that in. So I am so excited. We finally got the base done. We have it centralized where it's gonna go. Now I still have to build the top. That's coming. Let's get that next. Let's go! Yeah, yeah. We awesome. We awesome. Before I start to build the top framing, I want to make sure I measure out the length of my bottom base because I want to move the baseboarding to get closest to the wall as possible. That came out fast. Yes, it did. Nice. Yes, it did. Clockwork. I have to remove this one too. We are? Yeah. No, I don't want you to. I'm gonna have to because this has got to be flush against the wall. All right, we have to remove the bottom of the window trim just to make sure that it sits flush, right, baby? Yes. For extra strength and reinforcement towards the back wall, I'm adding two additional 2x4 bracing. Ooh, it's getting braced to the wall, wall, wall. Level. It's level? It's level. Ooh. Like that? La, 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 la. This side is not that low. <laughs> Just screw to the floor, Greg. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the floor. Just screw to the floor. It's okay. To the floor. To the window. To the wall. To the ceiling. My wife would do it to the wall. To the floor. To the floor. <laughs> Greg, why are you always talking junk? Because you're always talking junk. I got an answer for you. I haven't, been saying, I haven't been saying anything. What did you say? Mm -hmm. Say it again. You're so funny at all. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're smart. You put something in your mouth quick. <laughs> put my foot in your mouth. <laughs> Perfect. I told you, you gotta listen to your wife all the time. I'm a gangster too. What? <laughs> I'm a gangster. That the, that's the video you made, remember? You say. I have no idea. I'm a gangster too. Oh my God, the reels are getting, the reels are getting to his head. <laughs> the Instagram reels have gone into my husband's head. Uh. Jesus. Am I gangster too? <laughs> You're so weird. Now I got my beams already Daddy, up. Look at me. You look so pretty, Woo Woo. Can I knock the door with you? Okay. 
All right, so now that I got my framework already up. We're going to make a flashlight. We're going to make everything. Yeah, tell them. We're going to make the TV. We're going to make a flashlight. Let's so, get started. Let's get started. Are Crazy, are you ready to open it? Yes! Woo! All right, here we go. All right, guys, so hubby put the framing up already. Look at and it. we are opening up our touchstone electric fireplace, guys. I am so excited. I am so excited. Wait till you guys see how it looks. Oh, boy. It's Christmas. <laughs> You're so pretty. Yeah. Why do we do it? You want to take those off? Yeah. Okay. It's not taking off. It's not taking off. All right. Okay. She sounds like a chipmunk. <laughs> it's a fireplace. Oh, it's a fireplace. The big reveal. There we go. Whoa. Back end of it, Greg. Oh, oh, oh. Come on now. Hold on. We're gonna spin it around so we can see. You gotta spin it around, Gracie. Hold on. Oh, wow, look at Gracie. So we ordered the three-sided um sideline infinity fireplace, and I'm excited. It looks so bomb, guys. It's not even out, and I love the way that it looks. Aesthetically, it's 10 out of 10. So what you think? <laughs> Okay, Gracie, here we go. Ready? You can take the plastic off. Ready? Yep. Come on, ready? Wow, look at that, huh? It's so pretty. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Once again, we just wanted to send a big thank you to Touchstone Home Products for sending us the Infinity Fireplace. We're going to tell you all about it later in the video. So now that I've got the front framing all complete, I'm going to reinforce it to the back framing using 2x4s. I have a 50 inch TV coming so I'm going to make sure I provide the necessary bracing for it to be secure. Right now. Woo! All right, guys, it's time to open what's inside. 
So this fireplace, just so you can get a little bit more information, um, it includes a log set and clear and black crystals, and we're definitely going with the log set because I love how realistic it looks. Babe, can mm -hmm. you like come closer so they can see how bomb it looks, guys? I'm gonna model this for you. You like that? Yeah, that looks really good, guys. Uh, it looks yeah. it looks nice. This I can't wait really to see nice. it lit up and stuff. Oh, I love it. Okay. So, just so you guys can have a little bit more information. This is a three-sided fireplace with see-through glass on the front and side. This is a 50-inch model. Um, it has two heat settings. It's low and high um, with a temperature of 68 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Or obviously you can go on constant on. Um, it has six flame color options and 10 media bed color options. Five, five flame and media bed light intensity settings three flame speeds and timer up to eight hours and can be plugged in or um, hardwired. I like it. Oh, and this is the best part. It's Wi-Fi enabled, yes. smartphone compatibility, and you can turn on or off by using Amazon Alexa or Google Home. And then again, like I told you guys before, it includes the lock set and you can either do clear and black crystals or, you know, and then it's touchscreen and remote control. Can't beat that. Yeah, you can't beat that, especially for um, us uh, millennials over here <laughs> that don't want to get up sometimes. Lazy millennials. Millennials. My husband is obviously not a millennial. Baby, what are you? You're not a millennial. You're a what? I'm normal. That's no. What, I am. what is he? No, he's not. I'm millennial. What is he? He's before me. <laughs> he's Generation X. So he's Percentile. <laughs> he's old. <laughs> So guys, we're gonna show both options with the crystals and with the logs. That's the log right there, and then once we turn it on, I'll show you guys. Here are the black crystals that you can obviously mix with the clear crystals. And this looks like it's supposed to be for the um, for the wood. You put it on there, and it looks like there's burnt wood, which is really, really nice. And then it came with these bigger crystals right here. Let me show you guys which is really nice, lightweight, and it's really, really nice, clean look. So, yeah, we're gonna definitely be going with the log, but I am still gonna show you guys the crystals, right, babe? This is held down by two screws here. I remove those, and I remove this plastic sheathing here, and you gotta have a hole here. This is used to bolt down the fireplace to the framing. Is there more than one hole? Nope, there's one in here, there's one over here. One on okay. both sides? Yeah. That's it, and put this right in. Past this, I'm gonna go use a screwdriver because I don't want to damage the light bar. Do it by hand. This is so easy. Mm -hmm. This is so, so easy. You're good? Yeah. Now I'm gonna put this uh, set back up. Okay. Yeah, center it. Good. All right, I'm gonna cover this in plastic so it may keep it protected, and then I'm gonna sheet rock it. No, we're gonna put the glass back up, then cover it in plastic, mm -hmm. and then sheet rock it. There you go. <laughs> Now it's time to sheet rock.
All right, so now I got my corner beads all done. Now it's time to mud. Hello everybody in the video watching. So right now Greg is doing this. Mm -hmm. And this is probably his last coat. And it yep. It will be. Yes. All right, so before we start painting, I'm gonna tell you we decided to go with the Aura Collection Matte Black. The same that we did for the accent wall here. This might be going, well, actually I think it is gonna be going, but we're gonna have a new accent wall, which we're gonna use this color on our new beautiful fireplace wall. With that said, let's get going. And this beautiful fireplace is just awesome to look at. Thank you so much Touchstone Home Products for gifting us this. And we've got so much more to do in this room. Now my wife wants to change the concepts of this room since this beautiful piece is in. Uh, this is going to be a new accent wall. She wants to change the colors, move around some furniture. My wife is behind the camera, she's smiling. <laughs> Anyways, you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned next week to see why it's going to come out.